she working? You look like you're enjoying yourself. She's like she's resting on. <laughs> so, has it been absorbed? Hmm? Has it been absorbed? No, I don't think so. It's just there isn't a power of two. It cancels out. I think we will. If you want to, have a look now before I get started. If not, hold your peace. No? Yes? Yes, exactly, yeah. This is the exam we did yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get started now. So guys, if you like, uh, you can take out a copy of the exam uh, from yesterday. We'll get started on section A. So my goal is to at least get section A done in this class. Should be okay. Did one of your friends not keep a copy for you? It's literally the first one on Moodle. Go to the most recent exam in semester two, version one. You have a spare one? Young Peng, Angela has a spare one for you. Okay, let's have a look. Four marks. The point A is minus 13, 1. The point B is 5, 7. And the question is find the line which is perpendicular to AB and passes through the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint is minus 13 plus 5 is, what's that? Minus 8 over 2, minus 4. And then 1 plus 7 is 8 over 2, 4. And then the M would be, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 8 over 2 is 4. Uh, the M, now guys, hey, hey, come on, come on, listen, now we're started. M is 7 minus 1 over 5 plus 13, which is 6 over 18, which is 1 over 3. So th that's the M, but really it's the perpendicular one, so that's minus, minus 3. So y equals mx plus c. I think I'll use that. No, I can only use one point for c. Yeah, midpoint. The midpoint, yeah. So 4 equals 12 plus c. So c equals minus 8. So our answer is y equals minus 3x minus 8 then. Okay. I hope that... That was from semester one, week one, lesson two. Parallel and perpendicular, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Next. Scroll down. A two. The quadratic equation. 2x squared plus 5x plus c equals 0 has no real roots. And c is a positive integer. Find the smallest possible value of c. So it has no roots. It means the discriminant must be That's negative. It means b squared minus 4ac must be less than 0. It means 25 must be less than 8c. That means 25 over 8c is more than, uh, than that. Uh, what's that as a decimal? Uh, 3.125. So the smallest integer, which is more than 3.125, is 4. This is 4, 5, 6, blah, blah, blah. The smallest one is 4. So C is 4, is the answer. How many marks did they give for the It's okay? 
I don't know, I don't have the market scheme in front of me. Huh? You have to give the last position the bracket No. Oh, I can just skip that if you like. Is that okay? Continue? Yeah? Scroll down? Okay. Uh, A3. Uh, expand, but it doesn't matter. You can use binomial, you can use Pascal. I think if you want to use Pascal, that's fine because it's only to it's only to four. So we want to expand two minus a half x power four. So the first one would be two power four. Then the next one would be four times two cubed times minus x over 2. Then the next one is 6 times 2 squared times minus x over 2 squared. Then the next one is 4 times 2 times minus x over 2 cubed. And then the last one is plus minus x over 2 power 4. 2, 4, 16. Uh, 2, 8, minus 8, 16. minus 16, is it? Yeah. 4 over 2, 12. Six. Sorry, is that a square? Yeah. Yeah. 2 squared is 4. 4 over 2 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Isn't that 12? Oh, and I forgot there's a 4 here. Sorry, hang on, hang on. 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 4. They cancel, so it's 6. Right, 4 times 2 is 8, and 2 cubed is also 8, so that's just x cubed. And then lastly, plus x4 over 2, 4, 8, 16 then. All right, so that's the answer for it. Okay, you should check as you go along. And I think we're all happy with this. Yeah, yeah, four. Four is a exponential. Two power two x minus four times two x minus 32 equals zero. So the best thing to do here is to change this into two x squared minus 4 times 2x minus 32 equals 0. And you notice now you have a quadratic in 2x. So you should be able to factorize. Uh, 16 and 2? No. 4 and 8? Plus 4. So that means 2x equals 8 or 2x equals minus 4. That means 2x equals 2 cubed or 2x equals minus 2 squared. Now I'm feeling like we can't, we can't get a solution here. Uh, it looks like it's only x equal to 3. Yeah. It's not possible to have 2 power x equal to a negative number. And you can see this because you can't get the log of a negative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Should we still the reason of your No. No. They only care that you reject. Okay, is that okay so far? Uh, has everything we've done so far been semester one? Yes. Yeah, okay. A5. Uh, triangle. 16 centimeters. 65. 52. I might as well write this in. Uh, 65 plus 52. Uh, what is it? 63? 63, okay. Uh, and what are we looking for? We're looking for this length here. Uh, so this is just 
Cosine rule. Yeah? No, it's not cosine rule. I only have one side. Um, it has to be sine rule. X over sine 63 equals 16 over sine 52. So very simply, uh, 16 sine 63 18 over sine 52. What is it? Is this wrong? Yeah, yeah, so like that. No, is it 18.3? Yeah. Yeah? Or do you I have my reasons. Okay. Continue. 16 sine 63 over. What is it? So it's 18.1? Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of me losing trust in them. <laughs> All right. What you type in wrong, man? Uh, on the top of your calculator, does it say grad, G? On the very top of the screen, does it say G? Yeah. Yeah, so you're in the wrong mode. You're in gradient mode. It means we're in degree mode. See how I knew that? Telepathic. Right, six now. What is gradient? Grad there's 400 gradients in a circle. It's a different angle is what they use in construction. So they go from 0 to 100 oh, instead of 0 to 90. So when you're in gradient mode, your answers are slightly off. Because it's not 63 degrees, it's 63 gradients, which is a, a little bit different to it. It's more than 63 Yeah. 63 gradients is slightly smaller than 63 degrees. OK, continue. Six. Y equals log X minus E power 2X. What is the second derivative? Okay, well, what's the first derivative? 12X minus 2E X. And what's the second derivative? Minus X minus 4 E 2X. And we'll have to sub in uh, 0.3. So that'll be minus 0 0.3 power minus 2 minus 4 times 0 0.6. And if you have it handy, what is it to four significant figures? What is it? Minus 18. Ah, interesting. So the four. It's 9 9. Okay. 3 9. Yeah, 3 9. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So four significant figures will be this. That's all right for five marks for those thing here. A7. <coughs> Sorry, can I scroll down? Integrate from zero to five. X squared minus six squared dx. Now there's it's a couple of things you could do. You, you could try to substitute. Uh, you could even try to break it into two and use by parts. But by far the easiest thing has to be just to expand it. Because it's only a square. So this is 0, 05x4 minus 12x squared plus 36. Whoa. Uh, yeah. So that's um, x5 over 5 minus 4x cubed. Plus 36x. We have to put in 0 and 5. Yeah. Now, there's no point in putting in the 0 because you'll get 0, 0, 0. So you have to put in 5. Uh, and you said you have it already? What did you mean? 305 then. A8.
Can I scroll down? Yeah. A8. Cos x minus sin x cos y minus sin y equals zero. Find dy dx. Okay. Derivative of cos x is minus, minus sin x. Minus, and then we need the product rule here. Minus sin uh, cos x cos sin uh, cos y plus sin x times minus sin y dy dx. Yeah? Minus cos y dy dx. So that's minus sin x minus cos x cos y minus sin x sin y dy dx. Uh, yeah, plus minus, minus cos y dy dx equals have, zero. Have sign, minus sign y. What's wrong? Sign. Which one's wrong? Minus sign y. Minus you sign y? If you take it out, it's minus sign y. Yeah, but then there's a minus in front of this. Oh, okay, so yeah, so I think in total it's okay. Um, sin x sin y minus cos y dy dx equals sin x plus cos x cos y because you can group these together and then you can take these two to the right. So what's the last thing to do? Well, just to divide. So the answer is sin x plus cos x cos y over sin x sin y minus cos y. Okay, I think some of you had trouble with this one in the exam, I remember. Yeah. You need to write this down, Mom? Yeah. yeah. Why do we get some dy dx and not over? Say again? Okay, this is going to answer me. It's supposed to be here, really. Yeah. Why do we give the cos y dy dx and not the sine x? Ah, that was the whole lesson on <coughs> implicit derivatives. That was the whole point of that lesson, implicit derivatives. I remember that. I'll leave it up to you to revise it then. I messed up the problem. Continue. Yeah? A9? No? Okay, well, speak up when I ask. Yes, you have it? Not yet. <coughs> Got it? Okay, A9. Integrate 1 over x squared log x dx by parts. So I'll change this, yeah, into log x times x minus 2 dx uh, using my table. F, F derivative g derivative and g. That's all correct, I believe. So the rule is this is equal to fg. Yeah, and you see fg. So that would be log x times x minus 1 over minus 1 minus integrate f derivative g. Okay, we really have to clean this up. So this is minus log x over x 
plus integrate x minus 2 dx because uh, yeah. it's minus 1 divide so there's like a 1 here subtract the power so the answer is minus log x over x minus 1 over x plus c it's kind of a lot for 3 marks Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I that minus one, one. Which one? This one? Yeah. Is that not in here? Increase and divide by the new power. Because oh, okay. that came from there. Yeah? Is this the one over x minus one? Yeah. Continue? No. Not yet? Okay. Okay, so it seems to be we're hitting trouble at A8, which is when semester two begins. Because A7 was a, potentially a semester one question. It's almost like one. Scroll down. <coughs> Integrate 0 to 1, x cubed over. 1 plus x4 cubed dx. Where, and they provide the substitution. du dx equals 4x cubed. dx equals du over 4x cubed. So this becomes integrate 0 to 1 x cubed over u cubed du over 4x cubed, cancel, cancel, 1 quarter, 0 to 1, u minus 3, the u, which is 1 quarter, u minus 2 over minus 2, 0 to 1, which is minus 1 8, 1 over 1 plus x4 squared. 0 to 1. We do need 0 and 1 here. Uh, I put in 1. I get 2, 4, 8, 16. 16. Minus 1 over what is it? Minus 1 over 25. 25? Oh, yeah, sorry. Hang on. <coughs> 2, 4, 1 over 32, isn't it? Yeah. Minus 1 over 32? Yeah. When I put in 1? And then when I put in zero, no, no, remember, one plus one is two. No, no, sorry, I'm wrong. One plus zero is one. Um, so I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That should be minus one over eight, isn't it? Yeah. Is that right? Am I summing that in right? Yes. Yeah? So what does this simplify to? One over eight minus one over 32. Is that three over 32? What's wrong, Mo? Well? Yeah. Yeah. well, there's one way we can check. We can type this problem into the Casio and make sure we get about 0 0.03. Do I still have the Casio? No, I don't. What's wrong, Mo? Well? You're not looking happy. Are you checking, Angela? It is this? Yes. Yeah. We're 
okay with this? We can scroll down. Did you type it in yet, Angela? Yeah, yeah, it's about a tenth, yeah. <coughs> right, uh, A11, A11, yeah? A11 was Venn diagrams. Uh, events A and B are such that, right, so probability of A is 0 0.35, probability of B is 0 0.6, probability of A union B is 0 0.74, and they want the probability of A intersect B. And we can just use the formula. PA plus PB minus PA union B. Uh, which is going to be 0 0.95 minus 0 0.74. Which is 0 0.21. Yeah? Are A and B independent? The way we can know if they're independent is if this equals P, A, P, B. Yes. Let's check it. Is it? So we'll confirm that. 0 0.21, does that equal 0 0.6 times 0 0.35? Looks like it does. You can check on the calculator and the answer is yes, they are independent. Continue, sorry. Yeah? Yes? Okay. Okay. The masses of a certain type of fish are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 40 grams. There was a sample of 36 fish and the mean was calculated to be 320 grams. Calculate the confidence interval, and this is in the formula book. Uh, it's the average plus or minus 1.96 standard deviation over uh, root n. So in this case, it would be 320, yeah, 40 over root 36, which is 6. So what's that piece at the end? 320 plus or minus? Yeah, just give us that piece too. Thirteen point zero six 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 seven. Thirteen? Yeah, point zero six seven. Zero six. Zero six. Seven. So the answer is the mass belongs to somewhere, the mean mass is somewhere between 320 minus 13, what's that? 306. 360. 306, of course, sorry, 306. So 307 if we're doing three significant figures. And then the next one? 333. Three, three. What's 0.93? It's 306.93. Yeah, so that's why I said 307. Is that fine? Yes. Round them up. No? Did anybody get all of section B finished yet? No, but I gave this to you yesterday. Can we please start with I did only the arguments, I didn't do the audience. Well, there's 10 minutes left, and I don't want to do the answers until everybody's finished <coughs> section B. So, when's our next class? 
tomorrow. Okay, you can get a start on finishing section B now because I'm going to start with B1 tomor tomorrow's lecture because in the tutorial we'll do the coursework. They just said we did. It's not tomorrow, it's Thursday.